Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Thirsty Thursday and it is bargain beer review time once again but before we get cracking on the beer, a couple of things for you to ponder. Was there really a Celtic cross symbol found on Mars and why isn't there a proper name for the tops of your feet? Anyway, up today we've got something a little bit different. One of them is a low alcohol Czech lager from supermarket chain Morrison's, this cost me 99 English pence and tips the scales at a whopping 0.5% ABV. Not quite non-alcoholic, but as close as what it gets. So, um, obviously, drinking and driving nowadays is a real, real no-go. Well, it's, it's always been a no-go. But um, this is the sort of thing that you could drink and drive. But, what does it taste like? Is it any good? That's your artwork. Um... Looks like a uh, someone's been left loose on clip art in sort of circa 1985, and uh, has come up with that. So, um, that little symbol in the middle, I think. Uh, well, I thought that was something to do with Belgium, to be honest, as opposed to uh, Czechoslovakia or the Czech Republic. But for some reason, it always reminds me of the New Avengers. And if you're my age, you remember it. If you don't, please Google it. Plain silver cap. Let's get this popped and poured. Say so 99 English pence from Morrison's. Nice bit of hiss little bit of cannon smoke and we're going to christen a new glass today that was liberated from Germany. It's a Radenberger Pilsner Goblet. So let's get this popped, poured and see what she is like. Let's go down the middle. It's a 200ml glass actually. Right, well, seems to be more bubbles in that than a glass of champagne. Real, sort of like a pale... Pale ale, well it's not even that actually, it's more like a, a straw colour shandy colour to be honest. Plenty of carbonation in that, not much uh, head retention, um, in fact it's pretty much gone already. Um, let's go for a sniff. Nothing really there to be honest. Um, that canned lager taste if that makes sense. Um, Sort of get that syrupy um, corn corn type smell. Not much malt in there either. Anyway, let's go in for a test. Cheers, everyone. Quite sweet initially. And then he leaves that sort of that bland, sticky taste afterwards. Um, Non-alcoholic beers, not sure where people um, sort of sit with them, you know, I'm perhaps a little bit on the fence with these, you know, you could say it's like having a, a Ferrari but having a, a lawn mower engine in it, you know, um, fur coat no knickers is another uh, old saying that we had in the UK. Um, it looks like a lager, it tastes like a lager. Um, but obviously no alcohol in it as such. Um, quite a good quench on the on the thirst. A little bit sharpness as well. But you do get that slightly gloopy, syrupy taste. Let's see if I can pour this down the middle and get a bit of a bit of head in there. See, when it has got a bit of head, you know, quite tight whitey bubbles, that's a bit better, isn't it? Um, carbonation calmed down from the initial screaming. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Um, I'm, I think if I have to drive, I'd rather have a, um, you know, a Diet Coke or something like that, as opposed to a non-alcoholic version of something that I, I am quite passionate about. However... Glad I tried it. Um, wouldn't necessarily buy it again, um, and I can't really say any more than that. To give it a score out of ten on Thirsty Thursday, um, I think it would be unfair to perhaps classify it against, you know, other lagers, pilsners that I've tried. Um, probably, in the context of being a non-alcoholic lager. It's probably a very, very solid, you know, seven and a half out of ten. 
in the context of an overall bargain beer, um, probably for me a uh, maybe a five, five and a half, five and a half, as uh, somebody else would say. Cheers for watching, guys, and we'll see you again soon for another bargain beer review right here on Thursday. Th <laughs> Rewind Thursday, Thursday. Cheers, guys. Be seeing you.